Hey there guys, how you doing? We're doing really good. Uh, as you can see, 30 games played, so the season is over. Uh, and we're top of the uh, top of the table. Promoted promoted uh, as champions to the South African Premiership with 58 points, 4 points ahead of uh, Chippa United um, who have been on our tails for the entire season well, for the uh, entire second half of the season because we... Uh, I don't really remember when we took the top spot but we didn't uh, lose it anymore and we managed to hold out uh, to the to the end of the season which is a bit surprising to me because we didn't play all that well we had a uh, shocking run of form in the last couple of uh, games uh, as you can see already here we left off last time where did we leave off last time? I think somewhere here. Maybe this game? Yeah. Probably around this this point here. I think this was the last life life com. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um we then went on to draw against Sivutsa Stars, one all. Um, that wasn't a really bad result because they were on a good run of form. Uh, so I wasn't all that disappointed, especially because we kept our uh, our lead intact. I think I think the uh, Chippa United guys slipped up as well. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we then oh crap. I clicked on that. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, we then went went on to uh, to beat Cape Town. Then we drew one all with Whitbank Spurs. Not a bad result. Not a bad result either, because they are a decent side and they had been uh, playing pretty well up to that point. So I wasn't all that um, alarmed by that result. I was a bit alarmed by the lack of goals because we didn't we had enough opportunities but we didn't score so that was a bit um, a bit strange because uh, in all these games Lotti Fili scored at least once uh, so six games in a row he scored and then he just stopped he suddenly just stopped I don't know why but he just stopped scoring goals um, and that led to a really, really bad run of form with a 2-0 uh, defeat against Fasco, uh, a 1-0 defeat against Garada Kicks, which was really disappointing because they, uh, they were third, I think, so that was a bit of a shocker. I, I do think we had quite some opportunities. Yeah, see, seven shots, three on target, but we didn't manage to score, so that was a bit disappointing. And then we went on to uh, to lose against FC FC A K A. Uh, sorry, let me start over. FC A K. Um, two nil, not not good at all. We uh, we held a team meeting, and tried to get ourselves back up uh, in the game. Uh, surprisingly, we were still in the top spot after these three uh, defeats in this uh, draw here because yeah Bay, uh, Bay United, no, Chippa United they kept slipping up as well they did manage to creep back to one point uh, I think after this game after the Bay United game uh, but they never took over so we were lucky there I think um, but yeah anyway we uh, held a team meeting. It seemed to work because we played pretty well against Bay United. Uh, 11 shots, 
but only three on target, 53% of the position. Um, but then we picked ourselves up. I uh, I tried something new with tactics. My fans had already complained about that as well, that I wasn't prepared to try anything uh, with the tactics. But I thought, you know, I have to stay a bit... Um, cons what's the word? Yeah. I don't know what what the word is I'm looking for, but you know, keep keep uh, going with the same formation to uh, um, yeah. Just if you start fiddling around with with tactics, it often doesn't work. Uh, oftentimes it just backfires. But I used the formation uh, that I've uh, found to be a good formation in the past already. So I used that, and it turned out pretty well. I already, uh, I also, uh, I think that's probably the most important thing that I changed. Um, I changed our uh, mentality to a bit more defensively, uh, because I think I was just a bit too stubborn. I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to abandon our attacking mentality and our attractive football, uh, but. If we can't score, we should at least try to not concede. So I should have probably um, gone to a more defensive approach earlier on. But I did that here with a more counter-attacking uh, mentality. And we won 2-0 against Tux, a very uh, decent side. Um, then we drew 1-0 with Tanda Royal Zulu. They were 4th. I think at the time uh, so that wasn't a bad result and we deserved to win but in the end we uh, we got one point and yeah it was it was enough because uh, Chippa United didn't uh, didn't win either they had some pretty difficult games at the end as well I think they played the uh, a couple of teams from the top five in their last games so that was good for us and we had our last game against African Warriors uh, which was a good a good game with three goals from Lottie Fidi who all of a sudden started scoring again in the very last game of the season which is a bit late but better late than never uh, so yeah that was a nice way to end the season and it gave us four points ahead of uh, by United uh, because they lost their game uh, yeah that's pretty much it for uh, for the fixtures now let's take a look at the uh, player ratings yeah Average rating, James Madidilani, he's our best player. Um, yeah, I really don't have any uh, anything to add to this. You know, this, the statistics really speak for themselves. You know, his uh, crossing stats, marking, tackling, acceleration, pace, stamina, strength. Uh, his mental attributes are really good as well, and his. Uh, Average rating is 7.24 uh, on a total of 31 matches, two times man of the match, so that's pretty good. Second is Felix Musa Samuamba, 35 years old, so he's a yeah, he's he's really a veteran, but he has played 34 games because he's just yeah, I think that experience helps him. And he had some really, uh, really well. He still has some really decent stats. Um, if you look at tackling, heading, his acceleration, you know, things are things are going down. He's uh, deteriorating a bit, but he's still a uh, pretty decent player with uh, great mental attributes and obviously a lot of uh, experience. Uh, let me just. Close my window there, and then the next 
player is uh, Sishuba. Uh, also deteriorate, deteriorating a bit. He used to have 17 acceleration, 15 pace, or maybe even 16 pace. I don't remember. But yeah, although his stats are decreasing, he still has uh, great technical skills. Um, his crossing still isn't great, but yeah, he's been a really vital player for us. 25 appearances, 6 goals, 7 assists. I think that's uh, pretty decent. An average rating of 7.11. Uh, yeah, you know, I've been uh, taking a look at the overall, obviously. The league stats are a bit different, but you know, it's uh, all in all pretty much the same. Lucky Kune then. He hasn't played all that many matches for us because uh, if you remember we uh, we lost him to an injury really early in the season I think after 8 games or something uh, or 7 games something like that and he's, he'd scored uh, 7 goals with uh, 3 assists as well um, and an average rating of 7.09 that's pretty decent but uh, in his latest games he hasn't played all that well he's not scored since his uh, injury so I'm not quite sure uh, if he is really one of our top performers uh, Lotti Fidi, he is one of our top performers he's our uh, top goal scorer 17 goals in 26 matches and well, near, no assists, but still uh, pretty decent with, well, great actually with with 17 goals, obviously, but um, yeah, I'm quite chuffed with him. I just don't understand why he uh, he went through, the, through this uh, dry spell, and not just, he wasn't just, he hadn't just stopped scoring, he just started playing really badly, and if you look at that, no goals, not very great ratings. Um, and then, yeah, in the end of the season, he made up for it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, he should have just kept going on this on this streak. I think I, uh, I said I praised him in the media after this game because he was doing really well. And they asked me about it, and I, I told them that I was really happy with him. So maybe that affected his performances, just made him, I don't know, less motivated or something. Uh, I hope it's not that, but it could be one of the uh, contributing factors. Who knows? Um, we'll take a look at Bantam as well, because he's been with us throughout the entire season 32 appearances one goals uh, one goal sorry and 13 assists so he's pretty much our main man uh, for assists I think um, average rating of 7.04 Kokitsu Moto where is he? he might have been yeah I think he's he's gone already yeah he's gone back to his club or to his new club actually because he signed for another club but okay um, Mot Moteng is gone but Tzotitsi, uh also had great uh, great ratings with 7.03 and overall uh, 13, uh, 33 appearances and 5 goals that's pretty decent for a central defender he was a, a cor corner glitch man sort of uh, and he did very well. Uh, yeah, okay, let's take a look at him as well. Messina, he's been injured for a while, but he still had 25 appearances. Three goals, six assists. It's pretty decent. Uh, average rating of 7.03. Actually, um, to me, he's one of our uh, best players when you look at the stats, but um, in the reports, he's worse than Bantam. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really know why. 
as a striker he's not that great either I don't know why because I think that's that's pretty good finishing 12 composure for 14 14 um, yeah anyway I think he's one of our uh, best players um, but his stats were deteriorating a bit as well so I'm not sure how long we can uh, we can keep him without um, without losing too much value for him because I want to I do want to uh, cash in on a, on a few of, of these guys uh, Mutizwa he was on a loan I don't think I'm gonna try and buy him because he's in uh, he's a foreigner but he did pretty well 7.02 uh, average rating over 14 appearances I left him out of the uh, squad did it I didn't reg register him uh, for the second part of the season because he had played nearly all games in the first uh, half of the season and I wanted to uh, give some other foreigners their chance uh, in particular where is he not even the eye because I bought him and oh my god <laughs> sorry but I just uh, I haven't taken a look at his stats in a while and his finishing has gone down pretty pretty rad radically I think I seem to recall him having better uh, better finishing stats could be wrong I don't know but he hasn't played very well so look at that 6.44 worst Worst player we've uh, we've had in nine appearances, only one goal. Really hasn't made uh, the impact that I was hoping for. But yeah, maybe I'll uh, pick up the slack next season because we did spend eighty uh, eighty thousand grand on him. Uh, eighty thousand euros, sorry, eighty k. Um, yeah, let's. Take a look at the awards for our uh, national first division. Player of the season has gone to Filani Cuela. He's a player I'm uh, looking at to bring him in for uh, for next season. Great dribbling stats, a lot of pace, decent uh, technique, and his crossing isn't all that bad either. So he'll probably have to uh, fill in. Uh, fill in the shoes of, of Momotong uh, because we really don't have a great right midfielder anymore uh, Bantam can play there but that's pretty much it we didn't get manager of the season that honor has gone to uh, Professor Ngubane Professor um, yeah it's a pretty, uh, pretty funny name but I don't know uh, I think we we could have deserved it as well, but there's only a, a first place apparently. No, a second or third place is uh, awarded. So, yeah, too bad. But I'm not gonna be yeah, too sorry for that. We did get Lotti Firi in the uh, top goalscorer uh, podium uh, with 17 goals or yeah, 17 goals. Uh, the second place went to Myron Shongwe with 22 goals and Tuna Tulane Kepe scored 25 goals. Uh, so he's the league top scorer. So I have noticed that flair and speed are pretty important in this league um, for a striker. Uh, take a look, yeah, flare. It's got a lot of speed. This one, that's very important in this uh, in this league, apparently, because the uh, the strikers with great finishing stats don't seem to score all that many goals, but the ones with high flare and the uh, the speedy ones, they tend to score a lot of goals. Um, what can, what else can we take a look at? 
Uh, yeah, not really all that much. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We uh, we're on the good on the right on the right track for uh, for the African Champions League. First task is completed. Promote uh, promotion to first division. Well, not first division. Um, premiership, uh, and then we'll uh, hopefully get moving to the uh, to the top spot of the uh, premiership. Because I think you do need to. Uh, well, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you you need to uh, finish first to uh, qualify for. The Champions League, so Sundowns have qualified for the Champions League this time, and hopefully we'll be able to challenge that top spot uh, within a few years. I don't think next year will be a great season for us uh, because these uh, these teams are of a different caliber, and I'm just I think I'll I'll be aiming for it. A top 10 spot if we can do that I'll be well happy that's a uh, that's a pretty high uh, pretty high goal already I think so yeah that's that's gonna be it I do hope we can uh, push all the way to champions in the uh, Premier Soccer League with uh, MP Black Aces as well because I'm, I'm starting to to get grow a little fond of them, uh, of them so if we could do that, you know, finish up Africa with uh, with the black aces, I think that's I think that'll be uh, very nice indeed. All right, that's uh, pretty much it for me for now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't have any uh, any matches planned yet. Well, I do have some uh, friendlies. Um, but I don't know what what our first match in uh, in the uh, Premiership will be, but I'll uh, update you guys at the beginning of uh, the next season. So I'll see you then. Take care, guys. Uh, bye.